the applause. You should leave the applause till the end. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm Lori McCauley, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. And I'm here to welcome all of you to this amazing event. I have the pleasure today to welcome you on behalf of the University of Michigan Weiser Center for Europe and Eurasia, the Copernicus Center for Polish Studies, the Weiser Diplomacy Center, Democracy and Debate Theme Semester, and the Gerald R. Ford School of Public Policy. I'd like to extend a special welcome to the Honorable Eileen Weiser, who's with us today, and to our Dean of LSNA, Dean Ann Curzan. Thank you for joining us. And thank you to this robust audience and all of you who are on our live stream today for joining us. The University of Michigan has a long and storied legacy of research and teaching about the history, culture, and politics of East Central Europe. This is embodied in the programs housed at the University of Michigan International Institute, the Center for Russian, East European, and Eurasian Studies was founded more than 60 years ago. And the Copernicus Center for Polish Studies will celebrate its 50th anniversary next year. The Weiser Center for Europe and Eurasia has made its mark here since 2008 strengthening faculty and student research and scholarship on the region, while also supporting democratic capacity building in East Central Europe. During the communist period, the University of Michigan served as a haven for dissident scholars, journalists, and writers, welcoming luminaries such as Nobel winning poets jo Joseph Brodsky and Czesław Miłosz, and historian Adam Michnik. We continue to honor these voices today with programs like the Weiser Center for Europe and Eurasia Fellowships that recently brought seven Ukrainian scholars here to conduct their research. Thank you. This event today also shines a light on the interdisciplinary collaboration that is so emblematic of the University of Michigan. Our distinguished speaker is a Nobel Prize winner, a statesman, and a symbol of how one individual can set in motion global change. The sponsors of today's presentation likewise are focused on educating and empowering the next generation of change makers through diplomacy, debate, and policy, whether in Michigan, Poland, or elsewhere across the globe. At this time, I invite Professor Jean-Vievre Zubrisky, our director of the Weiser Center for Europe and Eurasia, to introduce our distinguished guest. Professor? Thank you so much, Provost McCauley, and welcome, everyone. Um, it's a huge honor for us to host President Lech Wałęsa. We've been trying to get him to Ann Arbor for several years, and the day uh, has finally arrived. Um, so thank you also for showing him uh, so much love uh, upon his arrival into the room. And here goes my formal introduction. Well before the fall of the Berlin Wall and the collapse of the Soviet Union, there was solidarity. And Lech Wałęsa was a founding member and its leader. Solidarity began as a trade union representing workers during the Gdańsk shipyard strike in August 1980. Lech Wałęsa, an electrician at the shipyard, was quickly embraced by the workers as their leader, 
and he negotiated on their behalf with the communist regime, obtaining a series of important concessions, including the official recognition of solidarity. Within a year, Solidarity had 10 million members nationwide, representing one third of Poland's working population. In light of the immense popularity and growing threat the movement posed to the regime, Solidarity was banned and martial law was imposed on December 13, 1981. Lech Wałęsa and many other dissidents were jailed and Solidarity went underground. It did not fade, however, and the dedication of its leaders and support of the Polish population eventually paid off. In the winter months of 1989, the regime and the opposition entered into negotiations that led to the historic roundtable agreement. And that agreement made possible the first semi-democratic semi elections of, in Eastern Europe, which took place on June 4th, 1989. On that day, Solidarity won a resounding victory, and the rest is history. Communist regimes started to fall one after the other. Hungary in October, East Germany in November, Czechoslovakia and Romania in December, and so on. The building of democratic regimes and free market economies in Eastern Europe began, and in 1991, the Soviet Union was dismantled. Lech Wałęsa was a key figure key in, the, the, in that historic transition, first as leader of Solidarność, of Solidarity, then as the Third Republic of Poland's first democratically elected president, serving from 1990 until 1995. In that capacity, he steered not only the political and economic transition, but also oversaw the next round of free elections and set Poland on the path to NATO and EU accession. President Wałęsa's historic role in the fight against authoritarianism has been recognized across the globe. In 1983, he received the Nobel Peace Prize. He also received the United States Presidential Medal of Freedom, the Knight Grand Cross of the British Order of Bath, and the French Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor. As we know, the fight for democracy is never over, but that fight is perhaps more important now than ever since the fall of communism in 1989, with the rise of populism and the erosion of democratic institutions in Europe and elsewhere across the world. President Wałęsa continues to fight for democracy through his teaching and activism, and in recent years, he's been an outspoken defender of Poland's constitution, supporting the opposition to the current government's authoritarian tendencies. And you see that he wears those colors very proudly. As Ukraine is fighting for its, for its freedom today, it is also fighting for democracy more broadly, as did Solidarity in the 1980s. The war in Ukraine is also a threat to peace and prosperity in Europe and beyond, and we want to recognize Poland's incredible solidarity with Ukraine and the Ukrainian people, supporting the war effort and welcoming over 3 million Ukrainian refugees. <clears throat> Mr. President, Panie Prezydencie, it's a great honor for the University of Michigan to have you here with us today. We're incredibly grateful for your willingness to share your legacy with our students, and we're eager to hear your reflections on the war in Ukraine and its global impact. And before I invite you to the podium, I need to give some instructions um, about questions, because Mr. President Wałęsa will be speaking for about 20 minutes, and what he wants most is to have a discussion with you. So when you enter the room, you should have received a note card. So we ask that you write your concise, concise question on one side of the note card and pass it down the, um, the aisle. Uh, give it to our staff people who are there. Please raise your hand so you can see or stand up, please, so you can please stand up. 
they will be circulating and collecting the note cards. Um, and then we have two outstanding students from the UM's uh, Ford School of Public Policy, Margot St Steinhaus and Julia Fadanelli, who will compile questions and ask a representative sample under the guidance of my colleague, Professor John Charchari, Associate Dean uh, of the Ford School. And now, please join me in offering a very warm welcome to President Lech Wałęsa. Right at the beginning, I will decide about time. Uh, it's good to get the applause at the, at the end, not necessarily at the beginning. You have to earn your uh, final round of applause. I will give everything I have. Let's see. Szanowni Państwo, Dear ladies and gentlemen, droga młodzieży szczególnie, dear young people in particular, bardzo mi zależy, by dzisiejszym studentom, I care very much, odnieśli sukces. I really care very much so that today's students succeed in life. Bo dopiero Wasz sukces zatwierdzi mój sukces. Because your success will sign off on my success. Jak wiecie, Szanowni Państwo, stałem na czele Wywrócenia porządku światowego. As you know, I was uh, at some point at, I was a leader of a movement that completely overturned the world order. Przy wielkiej pomocy Stanów Zjednoczonych i innych krajów udało nam się pokojowo z, zburzyć niedobry porządek świata. With the help of the United States and other countries, we succeeded in overturning the order in the world that was bad. Ale zburzyliśmy po to, by zbudować lepszy świat. But we destroyed it in order to build a better world. B w burzeniu największy udział miała Polska. In the destruction uh, part, Poland um, had the biggest participation. A budowanie spoczywa przede wszystkim na Stanach Zjednoczonych w świecie. But the building of the new one should rely above all else on the United States, and that's for the whole world. Bo jesteście potęgą światową najwyższą. Because you are the great world, the biggest world power. A więc też spoczywa obowiązek za kontynuację so also, tej wielkiej walki. So you also have a duty to continue this great fight. W Europie taki los spoczywa na Niemcach. In uh, Europe, that obligation uh, is shared by Germany. Będę mówił o tym, jak ja widzę, co, co moim zdaniem dobrze, I, gdybyście przyjęli i realizowali. I will talk about what I believe, what in my opinion is what you guys should be doing in the future. Dzisiaj, na dzisiaj oceniam jako rewolucjonista, że For today, as a revolutionary, nikt nie przewodzi temu światu. My opinion is that nobody really leads the world. A bez przewodzenia nie będzie kontynuacji dobrego kierunku. And without good leadership, there will be no continuation of the right beginnings. Udało nam się zakończyć działania Związku Radzieckiego. We managed to finish off the wrong actions of the Soviet Union. Układu Warszawskiego. The Warsaw Pact. Zjednoczyć Niemcy. We, we participated in reuniting Germany. Ale przede wszystkim udało się nam dlatego. But we succeeded above all else because że tamte struktury, tamten podział, tamte państewka hamowały rozwój Europy i świata. Because what was happening then, the little countries, the whole world order then, uh, it was all putting a break to the development of things in the world. Wiele rzeczy, popatrzcie na Europę, udało się zrobić. When, we, when I look at Europe, I think a lot of things uh, were done successfully. 
You know, Europe was responsible, had been responsible for two world wars, a lot of revolutions. And let's look at it, let's look at Europe today. We have, we have practically speaking managed to remove all, all uh, country borders in Europe. We have introduced Euro, the currency for all countries. Having a good profession, good skills, uh, anyone can work in any country. And those are all great achievements. But now we faced the wall. It is impossible to do all those big things from now on. It seems hard. The questions that we're now facing are all great questions. The first one, the first question is, it's a question for you. What new foundation should be laid down for this new coming era. Each country has a different foundation, different level of development. Even religions are different. Having such big divisions, uh, it is very difficult to uh, build something big again. When I'm throwing uh, around uh, at different meetings, throwing around these questions of what kind of foundations we, sh we should lay down, there are two main proposals when it comes to these foundations. About half of the world wants to build it uh, based on freedom, on various kinds of freedom. The free market. And of course the laws that allow it to happen. That's how half of the world wants to build it. The other, the other half responds, no, it's not a good idea. We have, to, we have to first agree on the values that we will use to lead us. And once we have these values, let's say 10 lay commandments, then we can have the free market and the law. And this division between these two is something that makes it very difficult to get out, to overcome that division. If we manage to pass this, to pass this stage, then we're facing the second big problem. And what should be the new economic system that we should propose for this new coming era? As we know, there are two main big political system, economic system, communism and capitalism. In, in theory, just, just on the surface, the communist system is better than capitalism. But it is so good, it cannot be implemented anywhere. <laughs> it is just so naive that it's impossible to make it happen. So let's just not toy with it, let's just throw it out. So what's left is capitalism. But capitalism is based on rivalry, competition. And the, the weaker ones in this rivalry, in this competition, the weaker ones become unemployed. Someone called capitalism a rat race among nations. 
Jak budujemy coś większego, to koniec wyścigu szczurów. But when we're building something bigger, that should be the end of a rat race. A bezrobotnych należy odszukać i do roboty zagonić. And you know, the unemployed should be found and they should be put to work. To jest drugi problem. And that was the second problem. A trzeci problem, jak poradzić sobie z demagogią, populizmem i oszustwami polityków w tej third, skali większej. And the third problem is how to cope with demagoguery, populism, uh, lies and fraud by the politician, and that's all on the global scale. Przy zauważeniu, że do końca XX wieku And we should remember that until the end uh, of the 20th century, we need to remember that in, in various nations, people had some sort of a God in their conscience at the, at the back burner. That God was called differently. Um, but he was silently present in our conscience. But we've left that stage. We were afraid of, the, of communism in the Soviet Union. We managed to overcome that. So now the question uh, remains, how do we handle nations? How do we lead nations when they have no inner breaks, no inner inhibition? And the way things happened, And the way it happened is this, that the only power that can cope with all of these issues, because it is so powerful, is the United States of America. In, in earlier days, the role of the United States was relatively simple. It was the empire of good. It was always possible to count on the U.S., The, the U.S. was the military leader, economic and political leader. Nowadays, the United States mostly lead militarily. We have to, we have to gain back the United States to lead the world again. And this is not so difficult. To jest inne this is, this is, uh, doesn't have to be difficult. It will be a different kind of leadership. Sobie sprawę, We have to realize że epoka, państwa, kraje, bloki, that the previous era of countries, individual states, individual uh, political camps, because of the political, because of the technological development, that other era really had to fall. The new era has appeared, and that's the era of intellect, information, and globalization. And this requires new programs, new political structures. And maybe you, living in this big country, you may not necessarily notice this. But let's look at Europe. How Europe is changing, how Europe is building, rebuilding its... To tyle wstępu chciałem powiedzieć. So this was basically my introduction. A teraz zapraszam do dyskusji, abyśmy to wszystko przedyskutowali. And now I would, I, would, I would like to invite you to an open-ended discussion so that we can um, think it over and uh, create some sort of mutual understanding. W sztafecie pokoleń mamy największą szansę na pokój, rozwój i dobrobyt. In the change of generation, in the transition of generation, this is where our biggest chance for the welfare, for affluence, for all the good stuff. But we have to understand our times well enough. 
it is clear that a lot of that the, a lot of the existing structures in Europe, uh, the country, the individual states, political parties, they do not fit to the requirement the requirements of the new times. Let's look at political parties today. Left wing parties very often have more right wing programs than the left-wing parties and the other way around. And let's look at the Christian uh, parties. They yell and scream, oh, we're, we're Christian parties. But there isn't a single believer among them. <laughs> this is not what should be here. The only thing that works in the only type of structure, system, that works in uh, contemporary times is the traffic rules. <laughs> Everything else looks like traffic would if we removed all traffic signs and rules. One era has fallen down but the other has not come into existence in full yet. Today, we're in the transition. One has fallen down, the other has not been created yet. I call it the era of the word. The era, the era of all the necessary discussions of what the future order should look like and what should the, and what the role of the united states in this should be it will not do itself somebody has to prepare it all and somebody has to lead i would like to encourage you to plead with you to lead or just say you know in public we're giving up, we don't want to lead. And then just give your capabilities to Poland and we'll know what to do with them. <laughs> If, if there are no uh, willing participants uh, for the discussion, I will go on with my monologue. <laughs> but the monologue doesn't have to be that interesting. And I would like difficult questions. Because when it's difficult, I wake up and ready to fight. And, you know, and when there are... Um, you know, poor, easy questions, I tend to fall asleep because I'm old. I'm almost 80 years old. But at the same time, this is the, this is the, uh, the company where we can find the best possible solutions, I'm sure. And then I will simply appropriate the best ones. And, and then I can go to another meeting room like this and show them how wise I have become. <laughs> So please give me the, you know, give me some way of doing that. And now I'm sitting down. So we are collecting the questions and our students are at work. But there won't be no censorship. No sen we know how you deal with censorship, so there won't be any censorship. I might, however, start with an easy question and I hope you won't fall asleep. So I want time. to ask if uh, how you see the, the response in Poland to the war in Ukraine 
And if you see this great solidarity um, of the Polish people with Ukraine as also one of the legacies of solidarity. Szanowni Państwo. Dear ladies and gentlemen. Proste pytanie, odpowiedź trochę trudniejsza. The, the question is simple, the answer is a little bit more difficult. Solidarność była możliwa w tamtych czasie. Solidarity was possible in those days. Bo mieliśmy wszyscy wspólny fundament, cały świat. Because the whole world was based on a common foundation. Komunizm i Związek Sowiecki. To był fundament. It was communism, the existence of communism, the existence of the Soviet Union. This was the foundation. Some people loved the Soviet Union. Other people hated the Soviet Union, but this was the common denominator. At the top, you know, we had, uh, we shared, we, we had different interests. When we destroyed this common denominator, What was left is just having interest. Business together. So today, the solidarity of that other type is impossible. Unless you find the common foundation again. But as for Ukraine and Russia, we have to see Have to, we have to see the problem through a double lens. Skutki tej agresji rosyjskiej. The uh, results of the Russian aggression. A więc mordowanie, głodowanie. Such as uh, starving people, murdering people. I musimy pomagać, żeby, żeby ten naród przeżył. And from that perspective, we have to help them so that they survive. Ale przyczyny jeszcze jest ważniejsza. But the cause, the jest, causes are really more, more important. To jest zły system polityczny w Rosji. It was, it is that the cause is the bad political system in Russia. To nie Stalin, to nie Putin. It's not just Stalin or Putin. To system polityczny powoduje, że tacy ludzie wyrastają. It's the political system that makes it possible for people like them to show up. Gdyby przywódcy Rosji mieli dwie kadencje pięcioletnie, nic więcej. If Russian leaders just had two political terms, five years each, not more. Nie zbudowaliby takiego bandyckiego systemu. They would not have built the kind of uh, criminal system like they have. Bo i ci, co im pomagają, wiedzieliby, że po dziesięciu latach spadną i będą ich rozliczać. Because people helping them would know that after ten years it'll be over and there will be some reckoning. A więc zróbmy wszystko. Wszystko, każdy z nas by przekonał paru Rosjan. So let us do everything we can, each individual here, just to convince a few Russians. Bo oni są też mordowani przez wieki. They're also being murdered. Dzisiaj nikt z nich nie, nie chce rozmawiać. They are, you know, in the situation that nobody wants to talk to them. Wszędzie mają bojkot. They've got, they are boycotted no. everywhere. A tylko dlatego, że system to powoduje. And it's just because it's all caused by the political system. Będą nam dziękować, jeśli pomożemy im, im zmienić system. And they will be thankful to us if we help them change that political system. Bo jeśli nawet dzisiaj Ukraina pokona Rosję. Because even if Ukraine conquers, wins over Russia today. To tak jak zawsze Rosja się podniesie. I znów będzie następny Putin i Stalin. What will have will be what is what has always been. Russia will rise up again and there will be another Stalin or another Putin. Tak nas załatwił Gorbaczow. That's, that's how it happened during Gorbaczow. I może nam nawet się dziwić, to jest wielki patriota rosyjski. Of course, we should not be surprised. He was a great Russian patriot. I on działał dla, dla Rosji dobra, nie dla nas. And he was working for um, the, the welfare benefit of Russia, not for our welfare. I kiedy został szefem Rosji, Związku Radzieckiego, when he became the leader of The, of the uh, Soviet Union. Jako mądry polityk. The wise politician. Widział, że tak rozkręcony interes jest w, kraj, w krajach komunistycznych. Saw how things were, what the atmosphere was, how heated up it was in other communist countries. 
że nie da się utrzymać Związku Radzieckiego. Więc odpuścił. So he let it go. Ale postanowił jak najwięcej uratować Rosji. But he decided to save as much of Russia as possible. I stąd zaproponował prysorkę własność. That's why he proposed perestroika and glasnost. Ładnie z nami rozmawiał. And he was talking really nicely to us. Że przekonał do siebie nas wszystkich, a szczególnie Amerykę. And he convinced all of us, and particularly America. Ameryka powiedziała tak. And America said. No był ten Stalin. Okay, Stalin was there. Był ten Brezhnev. Brezhnev was there, no, and horrible. No bandyci. Bandits, criminals. No, ale ten Gorbaczow to równy facet. But Gorbaczow, he's a nice guy. I nie ma co mu robić problemu. And we should not be creating problems for him. I odpuściliśmy rozliczenie z Rosji. And that's when we gave up some form of uh, penalizing Za milionowe zbrodnie, które popełniła Rosja. For all the uh, crimes involving millions of people that they did commit. A Gorbaczow wiedział, że Rosja się podniesie. And Gorbaczow knew that Russia would rise w, up again. I w tym systemie rosyjskim będzie jakiś Stalin albo Putin. And he knew that in that Russian, Russian system a new I spróbuje Stalin odbudować Związek Radziecki. And he would try to rebuild the Soviet I, Union. I dlatego jak pan, pan, pan wiecie, Gorbaczow raz popierał Putina, raz nie popierał. And that's why uh, it was, uh, you know, at the beginning, uh, Gorbaczow was very uneven. Sometimes he would support Putin, sometimes he wouldn't. A więc przekonajcie Rosjan, dla, so, dlatego że dla ich szczęścia, so dla ich bezpieczeństwa, try to trzeba, po, żebyśmy wspólnie pomogli im zmienić system. For their system. happiness, for their safety, it is necessary that we should together to jest jeden kierunek. A jest And drugi też kierunek. Rosja ma co najmniej 60 narodów tak samo zdobytych, jak gdzieś próbują Ukrainę zdobyć. Rosja wchłaniała słabsze narody, Russia, I rusyfikowała to. Russia would, would basically uh, bring in, internalize uh, weaker nations. Całe narody przenoszono na inne miejsca. Nations were moved to other regions. A przywódców mordowano. Leaders were murdered. I teraz, jeśli to tak, teraz powinniście przekonać te narody mniejszościowe. And we should try to, you should try to convince all those minority nations. Aby odzyskały swoje miejsce od, od wieków, które miały. That they should gain back their space that they had had for centuries. To długie działanie. It's a long term Kind of Ale to spowoduje, że Rosja będzie miała nie więcej jak 50 milionów ludzi. But this will cause that Russia will have no more than 50 million people. Za tą propozycję, którą głosiłem, For this idea that I have just announced, Russia zaproponowała 5 milionów dolarów za moją głowę. Russia came up with a 5 million dollars bounty on my head. A ponieważ u was powtórzyłem, to będzie 10 and milionów. And since I have repeated it again in Ann Arbor, uh, that's going to be 10 million soon. <laughs> Następne. Następne. Next, Next question. question. So I'd like to invite one of the students, please, if you would please send? I don't know if it's on. Oh, it is on. Okay. Um, President Valenza, dziękuję bardzo. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, my name is Margot Steinhaus. I am a second year Master of Public Policy student at the Ford School of Public Policy, as well as a Wiser Diplomacy Fellow. Uh, my question for you, now that we've started to talk about Gorbachev, um, we lost a couple of really great legendary leaders like Gorbachev and Queen Elizabeth over the last two weeks. And they went through so much and experienced so many difficulties. What do you think are the greatest challenges leaders today face?
Jak mówiłem Państwu i od 30 lat powtarzam, musimy zrobić wszystko, żeby Stany odzyskały przywództwo w świecie. Ale w nowym stylu. But in a new style. Nie chodzi o dolary. It's not about dollars. Nie chodzi o to, żebyście za świat robili robotę. It's not about, uh, doing all the work, uh, for the world. Macie pomóc przygotować programy i kadry, by, by realizowali te dobre, konieczne programy. Of doing all that needs to be done, all that good, all those good things that need to be done. So I would have done if I were your prime minister. What would I do if I were your president? When I proposed this, what would I do if I were your president? I was proposing things. At the time, at the beginning of the revolution, I said, "Please help me build a state of unity." Please help me build a state of unity. 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 Please help me build the United States of all the European countries. Ponieważ to mój pomysł, to Europa wybierze mnie na prezydenta. And since this uh, was my idea, I was hoping Europe would elect me its president. A potem myślałem, że sfeduruję to z, z waszym tu stanem i zjednoczonym Ameryki. And then I was thinking about possibly building a federation between Europe then and your country, the United no. States. Ponieważ mój pomysł, to chyba wybierzecie na prezydenta mnie. Um, to jest mój pomysł, to wybierzecie mnie chyba na prezydenta course, tych dwóch stanów. Because the federation itself would be my idea, I should be elected the president of it. <laughs> I wtedy mówiłem tak. And then this is what I would say. Z Rosją sobie już poradziliśmy w have, międzyczasie. We have managed to deal with Russia in the meantime. Zostały Chiny. Now we've got China left. Chiny nie bardzo chcą rozmawiać z Europą. And China doesn't really want to talk directly to Europe Nawet that much. Nie bardzo. And not really that much with the United States either. Ale z naszą federacją europejską, bo sta amerykańską, But in to our musieliby rozmawiać. European, European and American Federation, they would like to talk. Then I would invite China to zabieram, the table. And of course, as, as always, I start the discussion. I start speaking first. And this is what I say to China. That's the situation here. Albo my was Either we will kill you off, Albo wy nas. or you will kill us off. Ja proponuję, wy ustąpcie trochę i my ustąpimy. So my proposal is give in a little and we'll give, an, give Zabier in a little. Zabierzemy się za globalizację. And we can then do globalization together. Proponowałem też. My other proposal aby Stany zebrały paru mądrych ludzi. was that the United States gather some experts, some wise people. I powiedzieli tak, mądrzy ludzie. And then they would say to them, zróbcie, dear wise people, zróbcie listy tematów, które nie mieszczą się w państwkach. Please do a list of issues that are too big to be handled by individual small countries. Na przykład pandemia się nie mieści. For example, the pandemic is one such issue. Internet. The internet. Samoloty. Things like flights across the globe. Róbcie to te, takie te spis. Make a list like this. Jak zrobicie to, to potem zastanówcie się, jakie zostawiamy w krajach tematy. When you're done with the list, then let us think which of these issues would fit the old order of small countries. Jakie można zostawić na kontynentach. Which should be handled on a continent level. A jakie muszą być globalnie już rozpatrywane? And which ones have to be dealt with globally? Jak to podzielicie? When you divide this into those three groups, będzie ostatni problem. There will be one other problem. Pomyślcie, left. jakie potrzebne są struktury, jakie programy, by się przygotować do rozwiązań. You will have to think about what kind of structures should be created, political structures, what kind of programs, so that we're ready to tackle all these important issues. Jesteśmy w ogóle nie przygotowani na te trudne tematy. We are completely unprepared for those difficult issues. Pandemia, następna pandemia, jak dostaniemy. The pandemic? What's going to happen when there's going to be the next pandemic? Migracja? 
Migrations. Migracja będzie jak Chiny i Indie otworzymy. When China and India are opened up, that's migration. Trzeba jak najszybciej posłuchać starego wojenczy i przygotować te rozwiązania. You have to listen to old Wałęsa as soon as possible and start preparing these solutions. Bo nas to zaskoczy. Because we will be taken by surprise. I zrujnuje nas. They will ruin us. Zniszczymy naszą cywilizację. Destroy our civilization. Tak było prawdopodobnie już kilka razy na, tym, na tej ziemi. Most likely that kind of destruction of civilizations has happened a few times before on our Earth. Jakaś cywilizacja nawet piramidy egipskie zbudowała. Some civilization actually built Egyptian pyramids. I do dziś nie wiemy jak to było, jak to zostało zniszczone. We don't know exactly how it was all destroyed. I my dochodzimy do mniej więcej do tej wysokości rozwoju. And we are reaching the same Point. Świat jest piękny. The world is beautiful. Tylko musimy zrozumieć czasy, w których przeszło nam żyć. But we have to understand the times I z... when we happen to live. I zrozumieć rolę. And we have to understand the role. Największa rola i odpowiedzialność spoczywa dziś na Stanach Zjednoczonych. And we have to understand the leadership and the biggest role, the biggest potential for leadership. W Europie na Niemcach, w Europie na Niemcach. On the United States and in Europe it has to be Germany. Ja bym wolał, żeby to Polska. Of course I would prefer it to be Poland. Ale nie mam za co. But I have no, I cannot afford it. W związku z tym po, pociągnijcie dalej reformę. So you should be the ones who will continue the reforms. I have this guru patcher to vam się wiedzie. And I will look from up above down at you to see if you're succeeding. Następne. Thank you. Now another question. Będę krócej, no ale takie tematy daje, że nie da się krócej. You're giving me difficult topics, so that's why I go on. I, I'll try to, to be a little to take a little bit less time. No, ja potrzebuję jak Fidel Castro, 4 godziny, by powiedzieć, o co chodzi mi. I'm like Fidel Castro. I need about four hours to explain what I mean. We have a new question for you, Mr. President. President Valesa, thank you so much for being here with us in Ann Arbor. Um, my name is Julia Fadinelli. I am a second year BA student in the Ford School, so I'm completing my fourth year in my undergraduate program here at the University of Michigan. And my Uczuję, first question, nauki polityczne to trudne zadanie. All the political policy issues nowadays are all very difficult things, so you have my sympathy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it is a challenge. Um, so my question for you is, Poland has been very gracious to take in many, many Ukrainian refugees uh, because of Russia's war on Ukraine. And I'm curious if you foresee a change in the sentiment of the Polish citizens in accepting Ukrainian refugees in the future and why or why not you may or may not see this change. Nie mamy wyboru. We have no choice. Musimy pomóc. We have to help. Bo musimy zrozumieć znów cały ten problem. Because we have to understand the whole problem. Szanowni Państwo, do końca XX wieku until the end of the 20th century, wszystkie dzisiejsze kraje all today's countries podobnie się budowały. Were built in a similar fashion. Płaniały słabszych. That is, they were expanding by appropriating weaker nations. Nawet Stany Północ-Południe, pamiętacie? And the United States, you know, the South, the North and the South, remember? Myślę, że na początku XXI wieku But at the beginning of the 21st century, są dwie koncepcje powiększania możliwości. There are two main um, concepts when it comes to increasing power or territory. Jedna koncepcja demokratyczna, wolnościowa. One is democratic and based on freedom. Przez wstępowanie do Unii, do NATO, do ONZ nawet. Joining the European Union, uh, joining NATO, joining the United Nations. To jest pokojowa. And that's a peaceful one. I ta rosyjsko-chińska. And the other, which is Russian slash Chinese. Starym stylu. The old, czołgi, old kind atom, of regime. Straszenie. Old style. I wchłania. Tanks heavy weaponry, and go forward. Tam jest pytanie, która zwycięży? So now there is a question. The question arises, which one of them is going to win? 
Który pozwolimy zwyciężyć? Which one we will allow to win? Putin popełnił straszny błąd. Putin made a horrible mistake. Mobilizował cały świat. He mobilized the whole world. Ja chciałem za moich czasów prezydenckich zrobić porządek z Rosją. When I was a president, when I was the president, I wanted to take care of Russia, to implement order to I Russia. Rozmawiałem z mniejszościami na terenie rosyjskim. And I was actually already carrying out discussions with various minorities in, in Russia. I in the pomagałem by ich podnieść. And I was trying to help them out to to mobilize. Ale Stany się zorientowały. But the United States figured it out. To ja kombinuję. What I was, uh, what I was into. Przyjechała pani Albright. The Secretary Albright came to Warsaw. Przyszła na prezydent do mnie do, do Belwederu. She came to the Belvedere, to the presidential palace to see me. Powiedziała, pani prezydencie, ani and, kroku dalej And w tym she kierunku. said, Mr. President, not a step further in that direction. Ja zacząłem poskakiwać. And I was Co sort of protesting, what do you mean? Położyła mapę na stole. She put a map on the table. I tam były zaznaczone, gdzie Rosja ma w najgorszą broń, jaką można sobie wyobrazić. And it had markings on it pointing out where Russia had the worst possible imaginable weaponry. Się, że and it turned out się, że ta broń nie jest w Ros- na terenie rosyjskim. It turned out that the, the weaponry was not in the Russian territory itself, but in the schowane. small republics. It was all hidden in the surrounding republics. Te, te republiki nawet nie wiedzą, że mają to. And, and, and the republics, people in the republics did not even know that they had it. Tak jak Polska nie wiedziała, że miał strasznie dużo głowy, co to mówi. Just like, uh, just like uh, Poland did not know that uh, we had atomic rockets in our territory. Dziś jak po- odkrywamy te, te różne miejsca. And uh, today, when we're discovering all these various places to with weapons, na YouTube, obdajemy film z tych miejsc, you know, you can, you can open a YouTube channel and you could see places where they, uh, where they uh, gathered that weaponry. Prawdziwym to, czy mówi pani Robert prawdę? I checked it out whether uh, Secretary Albright was telling the Jestem truth. Bardzo wdzięczny, była mądra kobieta. And I'm very grateful to her. She was a very, very smart woman that she got me out of these ideas. Dla because I would have caused real disasters for the world. Była silna, mądra kobieta. And she was a strong, wise woman. Nawet Wałęsa zatrzymała. She even managed to stop Wałęsa. <laughs> Next question. Margo? We have another question from the audience. It would be so much easier if you simply learned Polish. <laughs> <laughs> what was courage for you when you were leading the solidarity movement against the totalitarian communist state, and what does courage mean to you today? Właściwie to prosta rzecz. Really? It's a relatively, a relatively simple thing. Prawie wszyscy wtedy i dzisiaj walczą z generałami, z policją. Um, most of all, both then and now, everybody fights against generals and the police. Z politykami. With politicians. A ja inaczej walczyłem. But I was doing it differently. Ja walczyłem z systemem. I was fighting against the system. Mówiłem, wiesz, że się ptacy łobuzy, bo system wam na to pozwala. I was telling them, you guys are all such criminals because the system allows you to be. Oni mnie nawet często za- aresztowali, bo, bo lubili ze mną pogadać. <laughs> Sometimes they would actually arrest me because they, they liked having a chat with me. Bo ja się niczego nie bałem. Ja I was not afraid of anything. Ja się byłem kopana Boga i trochę mojej żony. I was just afraid of, of two things. God, a little bit, and my wife. <laughs> I, I mówiłem im, że wam będzie lepiej w innym systemie. And I was trying to tell them, you're going to be better off in a different system. Będziecie więcej zarabiać. You will make more money. To jest niedobry system, a nie wy. 
This is a bad system is bad. You're not bad. The system is bad. I stąd, stąd dzisiaj mam więcej przyjaciół po tamtej stronie jak, jak swoich kolegów. That's why I have more friends on the other side, the side that I was against then than I do among my former colleagues. Okazuje się, że oni też chcieli zmiany systemu. Because it turned out that they also wanted to change the system. Oni wierzyli, że to możliwe. But they didn't believe it was possible. Zresztą Amerykanie też. It was, this, it was true about Americans as well. Kiedy walczyłem, to czym mądrzejsi Amerykanie mówił, panie, to niemożliwe. When I, was, when I was still involved in my fight, the smarter the American that I talked to was, the Co? less he believed Co it was possible. The Soviets would never let you do it, they would say. I oni byli przekonani, że też niemożliwe. They were simply convinced it was not possible. Kiedy przyszło zwycięstwo, But then when the victory came, to oni są wdzięczni, bo oni też tego chcieli. Now they are all grateful because that's what they wanted as well. Udało się. And it worked out. Także, także trzeba wierzyć. So it is necessary to believe. I trzeba dążyć. And to strive. Jak gdybym miał wasze możliwości. If I had your capabilities. Wasze wykształcenie. Your education. A i dolary. Your dollars. To ja bym miał 10 Nobli. I would have 10 Nobel prizes. Bo ja, in... <laughs> Bo ja inaczej walczę. <laughs> Because I fight a, in this a, a dzisiaj way. w Polsce udało się wprowadzić już ten system właściwy. And today in Poland we have managed to introduce the right kind of system. Mieliśmy trzy podziały władzy. We already have three branches of government. The constitution. Wolną prasę. The free press. A więc wywalczyliśmy system niedokładny, ale już dobry. So we have managed to accomplish the system, maybe not, not perfect, not ideal, but a good one. And today it is necessary dziś, to fight no, differently. Dziś muszę walczyć z ludźmi, którzy psują ten system. Today my fight is against the people who are trying Dlatego to destroy that system. Koszulkę. And that's why I keep wearing Mówię, this sweatshirt. And this is saying to them, zdobyć. you're breaking the constitution. Ta, you're breaking what we have accomplished. And I wear it all around the world. And I say that to Poland. And what am I saying to you Słuchajcie, in wearing this shirt? And I'm saying to you, there is somewhere a really beautiful country, Poland, and it resisted uh, fascism. It resisted communism. And, not, and then it uh, treated elections lightly. It didn't pay attention to how important it was. they were. It allowed the demagogues and populists to hold power. And now it cannot handle it. That well. Wy też trochę zlekceważyliście. You also took elections lightly. <laughs> też mieliście ciężkie wybory. You also had some difficult elections. Ale ja tu też u was nabałaganiłem. But I also sort of brought in some mess to you Bo as well. Spo spotkamy się w, w Miami, z Miami z tym prezydentem. In Miami, I met uh, Trump one day. Wypytał mnie maksymalnie, że nie był prezydentem. Was not president yet. Ja mu wszystko opowiedziałem. He was asking me a lot of questions, ja and I wszystko... told him everything. A na koniec powiedziałem, panie, elektryk został prezydentem, to i pan może być. And then I, I said to him, listen. No, ale no, on uwierzył, no. An electrician could become president, so, so can you. I został you prezydentem. And you know what? He believed me, and I he został, became one. Ku zaskoczeniu moim został prezydentem. And then I was shocked. <laughs> next question. Question, Julia. Um, our next question is wondering, how did you manage the transition from leading a labor party to then leading a sovereign nation? Question. Szanowni Państwo, uwierzcie Dear ladies and gentlemen, please ani, believe me. Ja nie chciałem być prezydentem. I did not want to be president. Tylko jak zobaczyłem, że jesteśmy w ogóle nieprzygotowani. But when I saw how unprepared we were, że zaskoczyło nas zwycięstwo. That basically we were shocked, we were surprised by victory. I koledzy sobie nie radzą. And my colleagues didn't handle it. To mówię tak, no jako so sobie, then I was saying to jako myself. Jako się poradziłem z związkiem, z tą walką całą. 
Somehow I managed with the union somehow. No to trudno, muszę zostać so prezydentem, może sobie i tu poradzę. So it's too bad. I have to become president. Maybe I'll manage to cope with that as well. I nie źle mi szło. And it wasn't that bad. I was no, succeeding. Nie dostałem pomocy. But I didn't get any help. Stany też mi nie pomogły. The United States did not help me either. Pamiętacie, przyjeżdżałem do was? Remember, I was coming to the U.S. Krzyczałem. And I was screaming. Potrzebuję waszych generałów. I need your generals. General Motors, General Electric. General Motors and General Electric. <laughs> Aby daliście mi małych sierżantów. And you, you just gave me some small corporals. Miałem za małe efekty ekonomiczne. So I had the economic results of what was happening were too little and I lost the elections. A co ja jeszcze kombinowałem, o czym nie wiecie? And probably what I, you know, you probably don't know what else I Otóż was trying to, to uh, czasie, figure out. W tamtym At czasie point, chciałem wejść do Unii NATO razem z Ukrainą i z Białorusią. At that point I had this idea that Poland should be joining the European Union and NATO together with Ukraine and with Belarus. Przygotowałem tajnie taką możliwość. And in secret I was working on making that possible. Rozmawiałem z mniejszościami w Kanadzie, w Again, Brazylii. I talked bo tam to, dużo jest tych Białorusinów, Ukraińców. I talked to diaspora communities in various countries, mostly in Canada and Brazil. Przygotujcie się i ja w następnej kadencji swojej. I was saying to them, you guys need to get ready. And when and in my next term as president, I will announce it and we will join together. And and I was at that point, I was getting pretty strong support for this idea in in those uh, areas. And then will just join in together. And then I lost the elections. No wszystko upadło. And everything has been Więc mam wyrzuty sumienia. So I have some um, problems, Bo some uh, pangs nie, of conscience. To nie byłoby problemu Ukrainy dzisiaj, gdyby była w Unii i w NATO. If we had Ukraine in NATO and in the EU today, we wouldn't have had the problem that we have A poradziłem today. sobie z, z Związkiem Radzieckim, I razem z Wami oczywiście. I managed to handle the Soviet Union. It was, of course, with your to, help, to with tam, the United States help. Tam to był mniejszy problem. But the, the joining, the, the other thing was less of a problem Więc than żału, that. Żałuję, no ale so that's, that's one of my regrets. But it's too bad. It's all because of your generals. Następne. <laughs> have one more question, yes? We have another question from the audience. As someone who dealt with Mikhail Gorbachev personally, how do you think he should be remembered in the wake of his death? Odegrał pozytywną rolę. All together, he played a very positive role. Byliśmy zaprzyjaźnieni. We were friends. Choć różniliśmy się. Although we differed. Bo on, on wierzył w remont komunizmu. He believed that communism could be renovated, reformed. A ja nie wierzyłem. I did not. Na początku naszych spotkań. At the beginning, when we were meeting. Kiedy w różnych miejscach razem występowaliśmy. And we would meet and, and speak together at various places. To przy posiłkach, kiedy trochę wypiliśmy. When we would uh, have dinner and drink a little bit. To ja mu zawsze zadawałem dwa pytania. I would always ask him two questions. Mówię, słuchaj, ty nie jesteś prezydent, ja I już was, nie jestem prezydent. I was saying to him, listen, you're not president anymore, I'm not president anymore. Czy ty zdradziłeś komunizm? Did you, do you feel you betrayed communism? Yeah. No. Wierzę w komunizm. I believe in communism, he would say. No to drugie pytanie. And the second question. No słuchaj, przecież jesteś inteligentny. Listen, you're a smart guy. Ty wierzyłeś, że komunizm można zreformować? So you believed that it was possible to reform communism? I on się obrażał pół godziny ze mną, nie rozmawiał. And then he would get offended and not speak to me for half an hour. <laughs> bo, bo albo zdrajca, albo naiwny. No? Because either a traitor or um, a simpleton, somebody naive. Ale bardzo go szanuję. But I really respect him. Dlatego, że utrzymał do końca wiarę w komunizm. Because he did believe in communism until the end. 
Na przyłce tej okazji chcę powiedzieć, że nie wspominamy o prezydenta Clintona. And also I, I would like to take an opportunity and just add that we often um, do not choose not to mention President Clinton. A czy wiecie, że to on przesądził, że Polska i Węgry w czasie weszliśmy do do NATO i Unii? And do you remember that he was the one who made the ultimate decision that Poland and Hungary were allowed to join NATO and the European Union? Znałem wszystkich prezydentów od Cartera zaczynając. I knew a few presidents starting with Carter. I wszyscy ładnie mówili, ale tak decyzji nie podjęli. And a lot of them spoke nice things, said nice things, but they would never make a decision. Świeczki palili nam w oknie, jak był stan wojenny. When during martial law they would organize uh, uh, candles and windows. A pomoc w dolarach dostawałem 5% tego, co 95 Gorbaczow. But in, in terms of actual dollars, I would get 5% of what Gorbaczow would get. Bo Clinton wciśnięty w Pradze na takim spotkaniu byliśmy. But uh, Clinton, it was different in Prague when we were at this one meeting together. Podjął decyzję, pomoże Polsce wejść. He was pushed wejść. and he made a decision that he would help Poland join these organizations. Dlatego wielkie dzięki panu Clintonowi. That's why big thank you to on, President Clinton. On nawet chyba zapomniał o tym, bo nigdzie nie even, mówi. He's probably even forgotten about this because I don't think he mentions that a lot. Ja pamiętam, bo go podeszłem tak z boku. I, I remember this because I was sort of pushing him. I was the one pushing him. Ja się nie bawiłem w dyplomację. And I was not particularly diplomatic about it. Otwardą mu publicznie postawiłem Just, problem. Just, you know, I sort of said to him in public and he basically had no Klep, choice. He just, you know, he signed off on it. And let it be known. Jak zapomniał, to mu and if he has forgotten, I will try to remind him. Jak macie kontakt, to po, po się if you're in touch with him, say hello from me. <laughs> we have time for one last question. Julia. Tak źle wyglądam, bro, ostatnio? That's, that's, that's what Adam told me. Pani mnie przeraziła. Pani mnie przeraziła. You're, uh, you're, you're scaring me that it's a last question. The last question sounds scary. Proszę bardzo. I don't think it's a scary question. I think it's a, a good question for all of us to take away as we leave this room today. But what do you think is the best thing we as U.S. citizens can do to help Ukraine and Ukrainians? Są te dwa, pro, pro, dwie koncepcje. Two ideas. Przekonywać Rosjanin, że daje szczęścia. Um, con, try to convince to, Russians that for their benefit. Ludzie rosyjscy to fajni ludzie, ich bardzo lubię. Russian people are really nice people. I like them a lot. Bo mają cholernie niedobry system. But they have a really awful system. To on pozwala takim bandytom, Stalin i Putinowi tak postępować. And this is the system that simply allow criminals like Putin, um, like Putin to do what he's done. Jak się uda, to będą nam dziękować. And if it works out, they will be thankful to Bo to us. Bogaty, piękny kraj. Because it's a beautiful, rich country. Tylko system niszczy jej bogactwo i piękno. But, it's the, but the system destroys its beauty and its uh, riches. Ja jako noblista nie podniosę ręki na Rosję. As a Nobel Prize, as a Nobel Peace Prize winner, I will never attack Russia. But if Russia tries to invade Poland, if they hit Warsaw or Gdańsk, I will hit back to Moscow. The Old Testament idea. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. So I will not be just, you know, careful defending myself like Ukraine does. They do all the right things. But Poland would do it differently. And despite my age, I would be, I would be drafted. I would bear weapons. 
despite my Nobel Peace Prize. A nikogo nie zaatakuję, ale I will never attack anybody. Ale nie pozwolę, żeby ktoś mnie atakował. But I will not let anybody attack me. Putin o tym wie. And Putin knows that. Więc niech uważa. So let him be careful. Let him beware. <laughs> Następ... A to ostatnie. Szanowni Państwo, no, nie, nie wszystko wyczerpaliśmy. Of course we have not exhausted all potential ja, for discussion. Liczę, że jeszcze mnie kiedyś zdążycie zaprosić. I, I'm counting on um, us having enough time for you to be able to invite me back. Proszę Was na koniec. And at the end I am uh, pleading with you. Dajcie sobie sprawę. Please realize że odpowiadacie za świat cały. That you're responsible for the whole world. No, Pan Bóg Wam dał taką rolę. That this is the this is your fate. It's a God, God given role to lead the world. Oczywiście to są nowe czasy w ponowemu. Of course, this is leading in the new times. A dziś dyskutujcie wszędzie, gdzie się da z takimi ludźmi, nawet jak ja. And today, just talk, discuss things with various kinds of people, even people like me. Abyśmy wpadli na pomysły, programy, co trzeba robić. So that we could come up with some solutions, with some ideas and programs. Na mnie możecie liczyć. Dopóki trumny nie zamkną, zawsze będę do dyspozycji. Until um, the coffin is closed, I will be at your beckoning. No, na swój pogrzeb nie zamierzam się spóźnić. And I'm not going to be late for my own funeral. Życzę wszystkiego dobrego. I wish you all the best. Teraz tak, kto ma ochotę, chciałbym z wami mieć zdjęcia. I would love to have pictures with Róbcie, you. Kto ma ochotę, to tu mnie przychodzić. So individually, individually we can have pictures, but it has to be organized. So let Genevieve explain how it's going to work. Because at some point when people say to me, oh, I know you, I've talked to you, I've got a picture with you, that's why I'm doing it. So, because you are the rising star, stars and I'm the falling star. So please let's thank President Bowen. And oh, it's weaker than at the beginning. Go on. <laughs> and President Bowen is is very generous and is offering uh, to take pictures with you, but. We need to have a line, one person at a time. And first, I would like to invite the staff members of the Wiser Center for Europe and Eurasia and of the Ford School. And then everyone else, get your phones out uh, and get ready. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here today.